Hello and welcome to this presentation of Autodesk's Project Pinocchio, uh, the new online tool that allows you to create rigged figures that you can use inside of products such as Maya and 3D Studio Max. My name is Greg Benson Sheddle and I'm an application engineer with Address Professional Services. Project Pinocchio is a fully online service so the first thing you need to do is open up your favorite browser and type in projectpinocchio.autodesk.com then if you have got a Autodesk account you can sign in or you have the opportunity here to create one so let's just sign in as it is a online service obviously make sure that you do have a good quality internet connection so the first thing we need to do is we'll go to new and this is going to offer us the opportunity to choose either some pre-configured characters or a base ancestor as we see down here let's start with a base character and then we can see how to build up a model completely from scratch so click on the figure that you want whether it's going to be male or female and this is the working interface that will allow you to create your Pinocchio figure. On the left hand side we can see a full headshot of what your character is going to look like and we have some navigation abilities here as well so we can actually rotate the head and look at it from different angles simply by clicking on those arrows. In the next column over we can see that we can have um, a browser bar that allows us to adjust different elements of our character. So we'll start off with the general face. Over on the right hand side you're immediately in a shrunken format you're going to find the catalogue of existing characters that, whose properties you can add onto various elements. Considering the general face what we can do here is if we wanted to change a face we could pick one of these and drag it in. A slider bar then becomes available and we can adjust the slider bar and if you look in the face on the left hand side you see as we adjust the face it morphs between the two faces that we've got available. Okay. We can then add additional details so we can change the eyes So if you prefer the eye shape from one of the other characters, we can use the scroll bar and explore all of the options. And once again, we can adjust the degree of morphism between the two different types. So we can carry on in this uh, vein right way through for looking at eyes mouth, chin, nose and the cheeks. Moving on through we can start looking at uh, skin tone. So once again there's plenty of variations uh, that are available including some more off-world options. Just click on one and we can see that we've also got some variations within this It is an online service, so you do need to wait for the updates. Eyes, we can change eye colour. Lots of different eyes to choose from. If you want a close up on any of these elements, by the way, so if you wanted to have a close look at the eyes, you can click on the eyes, and our view on the left hand side for our avatar is going to get a closer view. Moving on to hair. So plenty of different hairstyles to choose from and also some non-hair elements as well. So we can pick one at random. So once you've selected a hairstyle, uh, most of them you can also change the hair colour if you wish as well. we also got options on the overall body shape. So while these body shapes load up, let's 
take a look and as you can see we've got a scroll bar with the different elements so once again we can change the overall body shape specific arms chest stomach all the main attributes for the character that you may want to use and simply by scrolling through here you in the same way as we did with the face you can t take particular elements and add them and morph them on your particular model for example when you've completed the body shape that you the overall looking at of course we can then add some clothing and again there's a selection of different types of clothing available and within many of these clothing types we can see that there are other s styles available as well via the scroll bars and finally we have shoes so the project Pinocchio characters are fully rigged models that you can use for animations and creating crowd scenes once you've completed your model just click on done and so we can save the character, give her a name, OK that, and this takes us to any other characters that you've got in your library already. When you've completed your avatar for your new rigged model and you've given her a name, or him a name, um, it'll then appear in your character designs. And this whole area that we're now looking at could be filled with all sorts of different characters that you've created so that you can use these to populate your 3D scene. We have some options immediately available. You can delete it. You can go back and make an edit. Well, the main thing here is to publish it. This allows us to actually use it. So you can correct the name if need be. It has some standard heights for male and female. Or you can even put in your own height if you prefer, such as this, 178. You can then need to check out uh, what kind of quality you want regarding the model, its poly resolution, its geometry, and you have the global access. Uh, so looking at this we have got uh, Y being up is typically for Maya and Z is for 3DS. Looking down on the texture, we've got some texture maps we should include. Depending on the quality of image that you you need within your Mac scene, for instance, you probably want to include your specular and your normal maps. And looking at facial expressions, in here we can also add to the published model whether or not you're going to be able to actually animate the face or whether you just want it with some set faces. Useful for if you're doing voiceovers and making your character speak. Uh, but if it's just for crowdsourcing, then you could leave it on none. Uh, skeletal on medium is normally fine. Looking at the output formats that are available, MB would be for Maya, so I'll switch that off, and FBX will be for many other uh, 3D packages, including 3D Studio Max. So we can just click on OK with that. It then generates all of the components that you need to make up that 3D model. As Project Pinocchio publishes your file and, and it collects all the resources that you're going to need once it's complete it'll actually appear in the published characters resource just at this element here and it says at the moment we've got one published let's take a look in there and there she is you can also change the type of view that you've got in your thumbnail from these icons up here so you could go for a full body icon or just a visual face icon depending what you need once you've actually published and it's in your list here, you have the opportunity to download it. Click on download. As we can see, it now downloads. Once your zip file has downloaded, you can open it up in the folder. You can then extract it. 
And there's all the components that you need for your model. The basic mapping, the FBX uh, detail itself, and that's it. You're ready to go. So that's Project Pinocchio. Very easy to use, customize and make your own characters for your 3D model. And that's Project Pinocchio. I'm Greg Benson Shettle for Address Professional Services. I hope you found this useful. And why not take another look at our YouTube channel for Address Limited. Thank you. Bye for now.